Thank you for staying with us. The House of Representatives has summoned EFCC Chairman Ola Ulukuidi, social media content creator Martins Ose, popularly known as Very Dark Man, and a cross dresser Bob Risky, that's Idris Okunaye, to address allegations of bribery involving the Anti Graft Agency and Nigerian Correctional Service. This follows uh, Idris Okunaya's April arrest on six counts of money laundering and Naira mutilation, resulting in a six-month prison sentence for Naira abuse. Uh, recently, a leaked audio recording surfaced where Idris Okunaya claimed EFCC officials extorted 15 million Naira from him to drop the money laundering charges. An influencer, Martins Ose, known as Very Dark Man, posted the recording revealing that Idris Okunaya's refusal to repay 4 million naira borrowed from one of the individuals who helped raise the 15 million naira. In response, EFCC chairman Ola Ulukoyedi has launched an immediate investigation, while the Minister of Interior has also ordered an inquiry into the bribery allegations within the Nigeria Correctional Service. And it is reported that uh, some senior persons at the Correctional Service have been suspended, so to speak. But joining us in the studio, our public affairs analyst, Razak Olukoba. Good morning. Thank you. Good morning, Veronica. Right. And uh, lawyer, political analyst, Ade Doton Ajulo uh, is also here. Good morning. Good morning. It will be giving us insight into <clears throat> this development. But let me begin with you, Razak. Um, this is not the first time we're hearing about situations like this. There has been stories. In fact, a journalist who actually, you know, posed as someone tried to do an investigation uh, to get details, and he brought out all sorts of stories of what is happening in the correctional service. But uh, the reaction we are getting with regards to this is, is seeming like Nigerians do not necessarily understand what goes on in this place. But from your perspective, um, what do you make of this developing story? Well, there are so many institutions that are involved in this. Uh, the prison service, which is the correctional service, like you have said, and the AFCC. Of course, uh, the, there are decades in many of our institutions, and uh, prison service is not left out. Mm. And it's not limited to... Uh, uh, the challenge we have there is also in numerous other institutions. I don't want to mention institutions, but you all I know that. So, our institutions are very weak. Very, very weak. And you must not isolate the prison service only. If you want to strengthen it, you must do everything simultaneously. Mm. Now, if I say weak institution and in addressing it, where to begin is consequence. Mm, are there the consequences? Yes, the law. Are there consequences when some of these things happen? Mm. That's where to begin. And if you look at the uh, the percentage of crimes that has been established, that has been committed, um, put it side, uh, aside by penalties. If it is low, it is likely to be the reason why it continued. Mm. Now, as for, as for EFCC, I don't want to liken EFCC as a an institution that is uh, having a challenge or that is uh, a weak. Institution, institutions like enforcement agencies and anti-graph institutions in the world are mostly uh, hated by the people. People don't want to obey the law. Mm. People don't want to, to take money we have, we have stolen back from them. So the anti-graph agencies ICPC, EFCC, should know very well that uh, the world has come for them. Mm. And that is why I like what the chairman has done. He swept into action immediately to investigate. There must be intervention by me and you to protect these institutions. When Farida came on board, sorry, Rubadu was the first one, Abi. Mm. When Rubadu came on board, we saw what happened to the bad. We thought yeah. ah, maybe the bad was something. But we didn't know that it's going to be a recording decimal. Mm. It happened to Farida too. It happened to uh, Lamodi Abi, then Magu, then Power. Then it's going to happen to this man too. So we should know that has become a pattern. Okay. That is why. The society is fighting back? 
Yeah, corruption is not society. Corruption, corruption is fighting back. So anytime EFS matter is brought up, we have to be careful in getting to conclusion. Mm -hmm. And that is why the, our parliament should be very careful in handling the matter. Mm -hmm. Their role as a neutral body should be to assist the chairman. It's not to tie his hand from doing his work. Because apart from what Benny Darkman did, there are so many videos I've seen claiming that the Bobrinsky has very powerful people in Abuja. And it, it was as a result of that that the parliament had to invite the FCC for penalty. That's a penalty. It's not to do anything. It's in, the, it's in social media. Everybody's saying that they want to penalize the FCC for doing that to Bobrinsky. So they, need, they also need to clear their own name too. They have to be very careful. Is it because penalty or to ask her questions? They say it's a penalty so in some quarters. From perception, we say it's a penalty that they... Now, those are perceptions who, 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 from the people. From yeah, from the people, yes. Uh, so we cannot base it on that. That's what I'm saying. Like, they have to be very, very careful mm. that what they need to do is to strengthen the EFCC. Whatever interest they have in doing their job, they must assist them, which is that they must join other Nigerians who want to build a barricade around anti graft institution from being decimated. So invariably you are saying protected. that, uh, from the your officer. perspective, that uh, there are no corrupt individuals. No, there are corrupt in, in, individuals, but that should not be an excuse to decimate either the chairman or the institution. You know where that's where I'm coming from. That the individual that involved in this... The, the National Assembly? No, no, no. What I'm saying is that the individual that involved in this, mm. everything should be done to be brought to you if, it, if actually it happens. Mm. But we must not drag it to a point where it's going to be another case of uh, uh, the chairman of the must go again. So we have to separate the two. There's the yeah. chairman office, we, and we, which has always been trailed by this kind of uh, they must go. Once they want to do a popular political case, the Ayabelo case is, go, is ongoing. Okay. And we have seen numerous protests. <laughs> sponsored. Well, uh, uh, Idris Okunaya is not mm. a politician, so we do not want to think that... No, no, what, I, what, 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 what I'm saying is that I said we should be careful so that right. it will not be seen as someone trying to influence the parliament or weaponize the parliament to create distraction for EFCC. So, and as for Bobrisky himself, it means that uh, there has been no penalty, which is what I'm saying. Okay. If the law, a competent court of law in this country has established that, thank God we have a lawyer here, mm. has established the crime committed, and only for him to go out that I, it's just a just or John, I just went for an holiday, that means that penalty has not been carried out. Mm. And that's one of the reasons why people will continue to motivate our naira. That is why corruption cases will continue. If it's a slap on, on the wrist, on the wrist. that is also the case when something like this happens. So the EFCC, after the parliament in Imbroglo, need to invite him again, mm. investigate it, whether truly there's no penalty. If there's no penalty, that means uh, we have to do something about it again. Mm. It needs to be tried right. again for that. And for also offering to bribe, and for someone also for taking, because mm. it is to, to tango. Absolutely. If you don't offer, it will not be taken. So the people who offer, and the people who are so to. taken, has also committed that crime. Mm. Okay, let's come to our lawyer now to address some of the issues <laughs> <laughs> that you mentioned. First of all, he talked about the matter that our laws are seemingly weak. There are no consequences for actions, and that is why we have seen <clears throat> these kinds of cases continue. You will tell us if that is the case. And then he also said that corruption is what is fighting back in this matter. I wonder if you see it as such. Well, uh, I wouldn't want to take it that what uh, Mr. Lokova meant is that our law is very weak. You know? That's the chance. Um, Institutions. Yes, okay. Institutions. institutions. Mm. Yes, I agree that our institutions are quite very weak, but not our law. Mm. And uh, you see, in respect of this matter, there will be a lot of uh, theatrics and melodrama okay. by the actors involved. Talking about the very dark man of a person, talking about uh, the EFCC, talking about even the Ministry of Interior. Mm. A lot of theatrics. You see, this is where you, what you get when agencies of government and even ministry, they are jostling for relevance. Everybody is in a race to be seen as working when they are doing nothing. Mm -hmm. Even the House of Representatives itself, they are overshooting their investigative powers. Really? Yes. They don't, you see, a very dark man, <laughs> according to him, had an access to an 
uh, allegation of this magnitude, what you are obliged to do is a big crime against the state. What you are obliged to do is to report this to the law enforcement agency. Hmm. But rather, in the sense of what they call clout, the man was all over there to ridicule the country, went to the public, dragging some private individuals into whatever it is. Then, in response to his chasing of clout, you now see ministers who should himself be probed, the Ministry of Interior. You now see ministers as well coming up in order to save face and the rest of it uh, immediately. Uh, uh, ensure persons were suspended. Mm -hmm. Up to now, we've not had a single denier or admittance by National Correctional Service mm -hmm. of what is being put out there. In a rush, you see, before you know, if, see, before you know, you see a very dark man around the, around the Minister of Interior, some, the same dark man mm -hmm. that ESCC invited. You see, for the purpose of clarification, as far as the law is concerned, the sole person that needs invitation for investigation at this point is very dark man. Mm. How so? Yes. He's very dark man because this person has come up with a conversation, alleged conversation, a, a telephone conversation between Bobrisky and one other person. Mm. You need to come forward. As it is, it makes an allegation. Right. You need to come forward and establish this. And who is in the best position to establish? Is it, is it EFCC? Mm. Now, let's even assume EFCC want to try to do their own internal, whatever it is, investigation. The extended invitation to very dark man, come over. The man was all over the air to tell you, I won't go, like Mr. Lokoba said, in decimating our institution, I won't go before EFCC. What if I get there because I don't have 50 million to pay? The same man was seen the following day with the Minister of Interior, mm. shaking hands and you can see him patting the back of the Minister of Interior. Yeah. And now, to now make the mess more complex, the National Assembly, as of rep, they are now inviting ESCC, they are inviting very dark man. No, as it is, you see, is that, yes, they have this investigative power, yeah. but they are overshooting whatever it is that they have to do. How so? Don't, how they are overshooting it? Is made this point. You see? No, no, let him learn. As, it, as, 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 as it is, right. as it is, this is a matter that should be of genuine concern for the National Security Advisor. Mm. And this not is the a, National Assembly. Not the National Assembly. Okay. What are they doing? What are they probing? Mm. They should probe their institution. They should even probe the Minister of, the, the, the minister of Interior. Mm. They should probe the National uh, Correctional Service. They should, as they should probe the EFCC. But you are now inviting the same person that has failed to go before years. You are now by now the Inspector General of Police should be all over this matter. The DG SSS should be all over this matter. But like I said, the struggle to sell ourselves before Nigeria, the House of Rep is in a competitive race. The concerns agency are in a competitive race. The ministry are in a competitive race mm. just to find this acceptance within the society. Okay. And we are heading nowhere. We are heading nowhere. Then again. Why, why are the National Assembly, why are they pretending as if there is anything that has been revealed in that audio that is not within the public domain before now? All right. What is it that is not within the public domain? A young man, Fisai so young boy, in 2019, you made mention of it earlier on, yeah. made a very comprehensive, practical, comprehensive report, uh, report having, made, having subjected himself to the police, to, the, to, 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 to Nigeria, was he invited? Mm, not at all. What was the National Assembly doing at that point? Nobody thought of inviting him. Just recently, the same young man has done this investigative, what is it called, journalism again, and brought a case against Nigerian custom. We all move on and see nothing was happening. Mm -hmm. I'm not told that anybody has been invited. Mm -hmm. You are now saying you are launching a probe because somebody who is just all about seeking uh, public attention through content and the money they make from, uh, from creative content is coming up with. He said he's trying to help someone who, who, who claims who you see, that uh, what, you see, whoever, whoever you are working, what I'm saying is this. Right. We are not going about it the right way. Mm. Why is he not subjecting himself? Why is the DGDSS not all over this? Why is it the same ESCC that, either you like it or not, ESCC because is alleged. Because they were the ones that were alleged. They were alleged. They were alleged, alleged to why, have collected Why is it? Let them do their own internal whatever they, that they want to do. Hmm. You understand? But this is a matter that should be taken with serious concern. Not the so-called probe that they, are there, that they are doing. What they should even do at the last is what they are coming up with. Hmm. They should allow police to do their job. 
They should allow police do their job. Who, who, who is supposed to invite the police? They had to come in, whichever way. The police, as, you see, as, it is, as it is, with what is in the public domain already, the police are empowered by virtue of, uh, what is it? They are empowered by virtue of, by virtue of statute and the law mm. to step into the matter as it is. It's a matter of great security concern. But as it is, they have not stepped in. They, that's see, what I'm saying. Every institution has its own mechanism for disciplining its own officers. Mm. If an army officer commits a crime now, you will see those army boys with a red cap. Mm. They are in that department. Right. They will be arrested and will submit them to the army institution for appropriate step to be taken. Mm. But if it's a major crime, you will be taken over from them and taken to you. But there's an internal process that will be taken. So if an officer is accused in the EFCC, have you been able to uh, uh, apply the internal mechanism that has been established by EFCC? And that is the reason why, like I said, the man, the show me that guy was invited. That, okay, come, oh, we have our own institution, institutional uh, 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 platform here where this kind of thing can be sorted out to come. It is after that that outside body can then, because an institution, it's not an individual thing. Absolutely. It's outside that that other institutions can then begin to intervene. That no, you are not handling this matter correctly. You don't turn the chairman into a victim now. Mm. I have come and answer for you. Okay. And that is why I said Parliament should be very careful. There are videos saying that public has very powerful people in Abuja. We don't know whether that powerful people are in the Parliament. That's number one. Two is that they, whether they, they are the ones that is insinuated or yes, are pushing for yes. Yeah. So also, before Bauer left, there are numerous protests calling for how EFCC has been handling uh, Belo's case. It's been mm. there used to be in that. Now, with what has happened now, I hope those people protesting in the defense of a billionaire can now come out and, put, and say the same thing. So, so Ibawa had hated him. So uh, this man also hated him again. He made a lot. So we have to be very careful. And like I said, our institution that has been assigned to play a responsibility, if you put a barricade and prevent from doing his work, you are damaging the country. Mm -hmm. And that's the democracy is not about when a army came to take over power. That your democracy is, is dying. When your institutions are also dying, because your democracy is dying, because democracy is about accountability. Mm. When people say, sovereignty that I have, I have submitted it to you, and the people in government mismanage it, that's your killing democracy. So if we look at it from left and right, we know that there's a problem in this. In, and the way to move forward that I want to recommend is first, the sitting today, there should be, the parliament should be very, very neutral about it. And what it, would be neutrality for neutrality, you? Because neutrality. Obviously, that you have shown that you are saying, from what you are saying, you do not seemingly trust perception, general perception, by, right. by the public, not only me, of mm -hmm. the parliament. It's general perception, not only me. Nigeria has always came when something goes to the parliament because there are so many issues on ground that we will be talking about. Uh, but there have been those cases there. The state police, the security all over. There's hunger. There's a protest tomorrow mm. about hunger. Those what are critical issues. What led to hunger? Yeah. Farmers can't go back to farm. The governments are in the United Nations talking about uh, I don't know what they are going to do. They, go and do there. they are not sorting out the increase in security in their state. There's a power sector lying on the table for them to pick up our private power sector in their country. They didn't do that. There's fair challenges. And as long as we don't produce enough fair locally, in six months, fair crisis will increase again. The governments are not putting up refineries. Mm -hmm. So there are so many issues before the parliament that they have to be assertive to the governors. There must be state police. They don't do that. We are talking about com some comic on, on, on social media. And you see, as long as we give liberty and freedom to people to say what they like on social media, because like I said, the minister's fear is that this very dark man may also expose my ministry one day. Mm -hmm. That's the fear they have for social that's media. That's minister. what you think. That, no, that, that's, 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 that's what perception. you think. But, that's okay, perception. What, is, what, what kind of ridicule is that? A minister of a nation inviting mm -hmm. um Free for us matter of, of that nature. There are many, many agencies before it gets to the Minister of Interior. So it's because social media has been weaponized. So and as a result of that, they live a, 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 a life larger than itself. That if I if, if I move against you. But so, but he, don't you think he's using the office of the citizen to question that ministry? It's a wrong it's a wrong ministry to question such thing. It's the wrong ministry to question such thing. Uh, so so office of the citizen. Yeah, office of the citizen. No, no, you mean the imam? The very dark man is he not using his position as a citizen of the Nigeria more, to the way, ask the way, see, the way you employ the capacity you have, either as a lawyer, as an activist, as a social media, the way you use it, must 
Give more respect to your country. Yes. Not so, that it should ridicule your country. So, so. The way he did, he carried on. He mm. said, there's nobody yes, in the okay. world that will watch that video and will add to the respect they have for Nigeria. It will, then they will lose, more, it will lose more respect. So what you should do is to do what he has done. Let no, us report this no, matter. No, you can see, no, sir. You can see the way, the way he jumped at attending whatever it is at the National Assembly. Mm. This same person that have been invited by, uh, by EFCC, or whatever. Let's assume that, okay, it's exercise is right to say, I don't, that's, that's, yes. I don't want to come before the FCC. Yes. But you can see, when you intend to help the country, right. indeed, if not for media fight cloud, for the poor, if not for the say. Australia that's mm. associated to, the, to, 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 to social media, if you intend to help the country, then you come forward with whatever it is that you have. Mm. You come and hear them. You can see, he came back to ridicule the FCC on the social media. And you can see the way Amanda is jump at going to the National Assembly. Mm. It's for a purpose. Let's not get deceived. But who do we blame? Like I've said, a more decent report has been made before now about the rot in our police system and into the Nigerian Correctional Service. We didn't do anything. Mm -hmm. Maybe because it's not call, a social media influence. It didn't call for, it, it was reported everywhere, but it didn't call for the concern mm. of the National Assembly. You know why? Why? It is the rot they all conspired to create. How what? do you mean? Uh, I mean, we, the, 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 who are those enabling? Who are those enabling the rot that goes around the servicemen? Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something today. There is nobody in this country that is not aware that in our correctional facility there are class or classes of living, mm -hmm. and it is unavoidable. You know why? Why? We have the impression, and that's why I said we should be fair to the correctional service men. Because they are doing a lot to save this country. Yes, man of those, Number one, man of those institutions. Our, our correctional service are quite overwhelmed. Mm. Where you are supposed to have 500, you are having 3,000, 4,000 people. With mm. less manpower, with less servicemen. Mm. In fact, if being a lawyer, I'm close to the, I'm close to the correctional service centers. I've been there. Right. Our servicemen in correctional service... Those men, the warders, they live like servants to some of these, uh, to some of these inmates. Do you know why they have to do so? Because they are overwhelmed. If there should be a revolt, there is not enough manpower to surprise them. Mm. So, so they have to be corrupt. So, so in the they, food book. Yeah, they, 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 they want to. Mm. That, so does that mean they have to be corrupt? Nothing justify corruption, but let me tell you the truth. Because that's what hold you're on. trying to do. Yes, I'm, I'm, hold on, hold on, hold on. Nothing justify corruption, but let me tell you the truth. It is unavoidable. How? As far as Are Nigeria, you saying as far as there's Nigeria, no one that is standing morally upright. Not about somebody America. standing morally America. upright. America. I mentioned something to you. I mentioned something to you. You're saying because they're overwhelmed. No. No. Do you know? That is why they you, have to. Hold on. I mentioned something to you. I mentioned something to you. Right. Do you know how long before even democracy that would be crying for prison reform in this country? Of course. Almost on a year. Was well, there a reform? Let me tell you, we are we are a nation that leads to this notion that a correctional facility is a place where you are dehumanized, mm. and that is the place you are taking a politician to. That is the place you are taking a multi-billion naira drop baron to. Mm. So you expect him to get there or her to get there and be sleeping on the bare floor where you have. Three, four, five, ten persons in one room, a room that is supposed to be meant for two. Mm. No ventilation. Mm. Eh? And the man you are putting in charge of this person is a man that is take home in a month. It's not up to 80,000 naira. Mm. I don't think you are getting it. But our ministry, the concerned agencies of government and ministry, they are more concerned about uh, access to traveling passports, immigration. Mm. More than what has bedeviled us that they should be concerned about. Mm. Because when you are talking about the passport, that is going to make you gain more popularity. Right. It's for the elites. But the issue of Nigerian question, let's be fair to this uh, to, to these prison mm. orders. I'm not there is nothing that justifies corruption. But let me tell you, let me tell you this morning, there are situations you find yourself that you can't have no you, choice. You have no choice. You, see, you, you, see? you have no choice. Baroniga, yeah. There are conditions that you must first uh, establish to prevent corruption in institutions. Mm. The first thing is the welfare. In fact, I start from recruitment as an HR person. Then the second thing is the welfare. 
So it goes on and on and on and on. And if you itemize it, many of our men in enforcement agencies, like the Correctional Center, in the Immigration, in the Customs, including the police, the ICPC, and now the EFCC, those conditions are not met. Mm. So you have established a condition for corruption. But, but we've been like so, so until you remove it, reforms. So, so, so until you, that's why we join us in this call for a restructured country. So until you meet it, don't assume that a two plus two in this case can never be four. Hmm. So don't assume that you are going to get the best out of our officers. If you look at the police institution, in fact, they have my uh, 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 solidarity most. Hmm. Strange enough. They battered my face. You see my face. Mm -hmm. They did so, much, so many things to me. But if you get close to the police, which is an is an extension of the police, you will wonder, ah, okay, this is this the thing why they call it's not it's not a good reason to corrupt to be corrupt too. But now you will now wonder, oh no wonder. That's why it's protest. These guys are not happy with you. Any matter that doesn't concern them. You now someone that has not slept in his arm home for twenty one days because of lack of more power. They keep recycling him. Mm. Recycling him. You know, I said you should go and stand one protest somewhere. He will definitely do something he's not supposed to do. Mm. The same thing with correctional facility. Everywhere in the world, there are special uh, 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 prisons. Uh, 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 prisons. Mm. But it's done consciously. There are certain crimes. If you look at Teddy Bundy, Teddy Bundy is a, was a serial killer in the UK. Mm. Mm. But he was uh, sodomized, he was uh, raped, he was brutalized. So, any people who commit crime later in life, those are the experiences that led to that special prisons. Mm -hmm. If you are a, a suicide bomber, you kill people, you now want to be missed with inmates, they will kill the inmate. Mm -hmm. so, that's, so, it's unconsciously for certain inmates. Mm -hmm. So, also, high profile politicians who people have known, conscious, people who are conscious, we call it conscious in the, in, the, in the detention, in detention, where they are serving their time, knew that. Uh, the reason why there are so many people on the street, the reason why there are so many uh, 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 poverty, uh, no education, poor ignorance, this man was part of it. He may be killed. Mm. So, but it's not that you'll be put in a place where there's a facility to, for his wife to come and visit him, for him to eat special food. So it's not for that reason. But in their own case here, yeah, the, the officers will willingly take it because there's no fail in their generator. Right. There, are, there are there are yeah, so there are there are dilapidated institutions there rooms there that if an inmate offers to do a repair they will gladly take it because they have written countless of letters to uh, this this uh, interior minister they didn't respond to it mm. so if someone is coming and is willing and is give and take if you are serving a time and you are doing donation for us you are going to sleep in the special room mm. so. If you are not, if you don't create a condition in Saudi Arabia, they say if you steal, it's either they cut your hand. If you bring drop, they, you will be killed. But they have removed condition for stealing first. Mm. No poverty. You have you must get salary. It's the country that have seen that is the most charitable. Mm. So you can't say you steal because you are hungry. It's removed. So before we tell our officer to do this, you must first remove all those conditions. So now, to the case on ground, like I said. Let's do the appropriate thing. So that it's not going to inspire more people to go to social media and insult somebody again and become a champion again. Mm -hmm. Let's do the appropriate thing. After the parliament, this man needs to go to ECCO. Mm -hmm. He needs to come and establish his case. Yeah. If the video is okay, then if there's a law that says that without somebody's content, you can play certain video in the public, that means it's uh, okay. But if he did it against the consent of the Bobriski man, lady or boy, or whoever he is, the guy, if it's against his own consent and the consent of the conversation, that means he has a lot of case to answer. So, either he likes it or not, either there's a soft landing for him by the parliament, he needs to go back to EFCC to establish that case. Well, not because they want to suppress it, because it is only EFCC that have the instrument and the capacity to do a thorough investigation of who took the money, who is the officer, okay. how did it happen? So that the internal route, we are going to assist this man, it's going to assist this man to begin to uproot people who create uh, uh, barriers Sorry. for judgment. Mm. Because there are so quickly, because there are so many cases in court today that he didn't he can't fly mm. because of roadblocks by a lawyer. Who gave them a leadway to that roadblock? It's that their internal is those internal officers. So 
Very dark man is going back to be a CC well, well, after the so parliament. I, uh, the, as a lawyer, mm. there's yeah. something I just need to correct here. Mm. Right. You see, um, I beg to say mm. that legally, nothing is banding very dark man to go before the FCC to be investigated. Mm. You must get to know something. Uh, there's a Supreme Court case whereby it was heard that all that uh, the FCC can do is to investigate uh, financial crimes matter. Yes. Even if you go to EFCC today and you make an attempt to shoot at Oluko Ede, at that moment, it's no longer within the purview of EFCC to handle. So, legally speaking, there is nothing, as much as I know, compelling very dark man to, to, to be morally, yeah. and if you are very sincere, why won't you go? If not that this is meant for certain uh, motives, why won't you go before this same ESCC to go and give them the evidence you have in order for them to take care of, of, the, case. of the case in the uh, against their against the media no, against their officers? Right. And cl clarification. Yes. I against their officers. I, 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 I want to clarify yes. something for yes. me. Is it not good to ask very dark man? Not because he's going there to be prosecuted that this Invited. video emanate from you. Because they may be a denier. Like, no, that's, no, that's what I'm saying. My sir. If it's established, you ask nothing about that. No, sir. No, that's what, that's what, that's what, that's what, that is what I'm saying. Okay, that's the only question I want to ask you. That is what I'm you. saying. So, you know, it, it doesn't need to exercise any fear. My insisting that I should go there is not because it's going to I'm answer any no, question. No, as a lawyer, I'm so that, just... So that somebody will not say that it's as not a, being... As a lawyer, okay. I, just, I, just, uh -huh. I just feel I should clear that. that yeah, yeah. Indeed. Why won't he go? Like, I'm very angry. For him not to have even gone to EFCC, that is why I'm more concerned. Say, it's me, it's me. About, that's why I'm more I am the one that did the yeah, that's why I'm more concerned about the, the acceptance he was not having all around agencies, ministers, and all of that. The fact that, oh, you are not even going before this same EFCC. Then, how will you say you are trying to help the system? Are you there, sir? How will you say you are trying to help, uh, you are trying to help the, that, that's the you are trying to help the system? That's the question. So, uh, uh, legally, it's not banded. For me, it's not, it's there's not, not banding in. So, so, in overall, in overall, all these institutions, if there's a law, which is maybe colonial, that prevents some of these agencies from en thoroughly engaging with the public, that law should be expunged too. Mm. Because if you have discussion with some of the police officers, some of your concerns, why can't you bring it into the policy? The law does not allow it. So a democratically instituted country like this requires a modern police. And our modern police needs engagement. The same thing with all our institutions. And that is why EFCC needs to do more in terms of engagement, to prepare our mind that the work we are doing, they will come for us. So, and they may come in, in numerous forms. The, the One of these might be the form. They should, be, they should be, yes. That's, so they are not doing enough in terms of engagement. The civil society, uh, someone did a press conference last week on his own, on Bobrisky and Abelos matter. Mm -hmm. But it's supposed to be in contact with, you, with, with EFCC. So, 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 but at times, they are always unwilling. Ah, no, we don't want to appear as if uh, we have gone beyond. So, because there's the, a the law. same society can interpret it as Yes. So, if right. they, I've been asked several times, did the police give you money? Uh -huh. did the, so, police will give me money for arresting criminal, for saying that go arrest criminal. You see, you know why, why, why I support criminal, you should be asking me that question. So, for saying that EFCC should do the needful. Mm. Is the most appropriate, and they need to be right. more engaging, particularly FCC, ICPC, and all those anti graft agencies. If Nigerian mind has to be prepared, if, we, have to, we, have, we have to brace up. If you may permit me to also express some kind of reservation about FCC, as being currently constituted, uh, we want to hold the chairman to do more. You see, there is this hysteria about social media, there is this thing about I always want to be heard, like the issue of the below that you've mentioned. As a lawyer, it is not being properly handled mm. by the commission. <coughs> As at last week, we had a conflicting report last week, last two weeks. And to date, that is not cleared. Uh, one version said, uh, don't blame Yaya Bello, one don't, don't blame I would blame, who do we blame? 
Bauer's experience is not, then, is not if, lesson then for you them. Step aside if you cannot do the no, job. No, I mean Bauer's case. I mean no, being hard. Step aside. No, I mean being hard. How many people will be stepping aside? I think they talk more. See, how many people will be stepping aside? The social media thing yeah. about our agencies and ministry yeah. is affecting officers. And, and that's what like, I'm saying. The, the, the yes, how many more? How many times will be stepping aside? I don't agree with that notion. No, 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 no. IG will, IG, IG, IG will step aside. No, no, you are being. They talk. He talks more. Okay, now like I was pointing to something. Before I was being uh, mm. uh, distracted, yeah. You see, I was pointing to one thing. As of last week, last two weeks, mm. there are conflicting reports in the media, which has not been cleared mm. to date. That one, Yaya Bello surrendered himself to yes. It's been cleared. And he was told, and Yaya Bello was told to leave. Mm. It was cleared. It was you understand? Cleared report. In another fraction. If you have not had, it was in cleared. In another fraction, it was a case that, oh, Yaya Bello was arrested, and later, it wasn't cleared. It was cleared. I read it. This, I read it in the media. I, I can say it. It wasn't. It was cleared. Yaya Bello went to EFCC at a time when an enabling officer were not around. The EFCC and when there, when okay. an enabling that, officer that, were not around, they say, ah, the officers that will see you, the officers that will see you, they are not here. Can you come back? They didn't ask him to go. It is under the current, it is under the current, they didn't ask him to go. It is under the current decision of EFCC. About mm. officers uh, and going focus. to effect arrest in uh, uh, Sagamu, and, and that is why right. mm. enter into the kitchen and, and they them to cook mm. for them. Mm. Eight before the arrest. All of this. They can then. They can then. All of this. Very good. No, no, no. They can then. That that they can then is not enough to say that the jail must go. No, you are the one. I said. No, you have said that. You said that. Gentlemen, gentlemen, you cannot take it for your own and your state. For the sake of our time. For the sake of our time. How many shall we be vacating? Now the issue is this. The issue is this. With this condition, you can never get anybody with you. You can never get anybody with this mind. Gentlemen, gentlemen, no. I need us to listen because um, there, we have limited time to talk about okay, this okay. issue and we shouldn't drag the case here and there and not make concluding uh, sense of, of this whole conversation. I agree with you. At the end of the day, the matter is not about Yaya Bello. The matter is about Bob Risky, very dark man. And yes. it's not about the term of yes. And as also, well. Yes, because you have been insinuating that uh, it shouldn't be the matter of asking him to live. The, yeah. the National Assembly has not said that. So we shouldn't be preempting no, 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 no. I or giving want, them something to talk I about. I didn't conclude. I won. Yeah, so there is no now, whatever they are going on to it do. over and over again because what, it's a way whatever, of whatever they are going to do. them to say, you know what, perhaps we should start looking in this direction. Yeah. But how to have a conclusive mm. issue to addressing this matter of the rot in the various ministries is what we are talking about. Agencies. Yeah, yeah. Agencies, ministries, we need to address it. How our agencies have got to this point and how it is that government or ministers who are in charge of these agencies are not doing the right thing yeah. over the years yeah, to address. Address the rot. That is the focus, yeah. and that is what I want in you fact, to let address. Me say this, eh? Yes. Let me say this. As far as the Ministry of Interior is concerned, I think the most strategic agencies under that ministry should be the Nigerian Correctional Service Center. Mm. But how is it that they are not looking at the Which matters of the welfare it has and, and, and the that, issues that, that is, are constituting that is, the rot? That is Gotten the less of attention. It is where, and when eventually they were able to like suppress him and uh, secure the man released from his hand. Do you know what he said? He said, "I'm convicted to die by hanging already." So even if I kill thousands of you, I'll still be taken to the same court oh. and be convicted for nothing but to die. Mm. Well, well, it's, it's in conclusion, so, you see, in conclusion, sort of time, these, these people, we, that's this, share the time, this, 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 this agency, conclusion. this agency, as far as we are concerned, mm. they receive the less of attention. And so, they, they are the most well, strategic towards well, 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 for, for, for me, I the think, of, I, I, I think we should do, off. you should do more to embolden people who have assigned to perform sensitive responsibility, yes. like the security of our nation, anti graft agencies, we must protect them all the time. Otherwise, we will keep demoralizing them. Mm. And it starts with the condition of staff, of the people, like I pointed out, people who are working under him. Mm. If you are working with yeah, someone that, that are under you, that does not have those satisfaction, it will be easy for that institution to achieve a lot. Then the government itself Quickly. must also, also be able to do something mm on the recurring uh, blackmail 
or many of our institutions. And in conclusion, the parliament should do the needful. All right. I am bothered about that invitation, like, just like that. I'm very, very bothered about it. But he has been, been invited, and so let's wait and see what the National Assembly will do. Public Affairs Analyst Razako Lokoba and Lawyer Political Analyst Ade Dotuanjulo. Gentlemen, thank you so much for your time. It's a pleasure this. being with you.